I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com and this is the Motorola Electrify M on US Cellular and it's part two of a full video review. Can this thing compete with the big boys? Let's go find out. Do you read the internet? If so, this might not be the device for you. Actually, I just wanted to get the phrase, do you read the internet in a video. I don't know why. It just seemed like something that was funny to say. I don't know. Anyway, here's the Motorola Electrify M on US Cellular. If this thing looks familiar to you, it's because it is familiar. It's the Motorola Droid Razor M that was on Verizon, just repackaged in a US Cellular specific design. So following up on the popular or I assume it was popular. Motorola Electrify on US Cellular. I don't actually have concrete sales figures in front of me for the Electrify, so I probably shouldn't have said that. The Electrify M is very small, and that's what a lot of people are going to like about this device. It's pocketable, it's easy to hold in one hand, and it runs circles around, at least in the size department, around the Galaxy Note 2. So this is too big for you. If you don't want something like this, perhaps the Nexus 4 is still a little bit too big with its 4.7-inch display, the Electrify M could be the device for you. Now this thing specs wise is packing a 1.5 gigahertz dual core Snapdragon S4 CPU. So all around a relatively fast device here. One gigabyte of RAM, that is the one downside. I wish it had two gigabytes of RAM. A 4.3 inch display, it's 540 by 960. It is a super AMOLED, or excuse me, an AMOLED display. It's got a 2000 milliamp hour non-removable battery in the back. So 2000 milliamp hours with this size display, even though it is an AMOLED display, may cause issues, but otherwise I've been relatively uh, pleased with the battery life. It's 3.92 ounces, it's got an eight megapixel camera on the back, with 1080p HD video recording capabilities, and then of course it's running Android 4.0 right now, although it is uh, upgrading as we speak to Android 4.1. It's rolling out right now to US Cellular customers, but right now this is running Android 4.0, as you can see by software version, right there. So new suggestion available, we'll talk about that in part two. Want to take a second though to thank our sponsors at Best Buy Mobile for giving us devices like this, and actually I just picked up some Galaxy Note 2s for use in our One Paul Bandit giveaway game, so you can pick those up for free at instantwin.phonedog.com. When you go to Best Buy Mobile, you'll walk out working. Not only we walk out working, but you can buy it online, have it picked up in the store, site to store. It's a nice feature at Best Buy Mobile. So here we go into the Motorola Electrify M. Size-wise, really nice all around. Somebody's calling me. We're going to ignore that. And we're going to go ahead and turn the sucker on silent and go back to what we were doing. I love when people call demo phones. Anyway, jumping right back into this, really small, nice fit in the hand. It's got your power button on the right side, your volume rocker on the right side. On the left side, you got this little area right here which houses your micro SIM card slot and then got your micro SD card slot as well. Micro USB charging port right there at the bottom and then on the back you've got US Cellular 4G LTE logos, your camera on the back, Motorola logo and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack up top. Now at the bottom, nothing. On-screen buttons here as well. Back home, recent applications, which you can come through here. And it's a relatively stock build of Android. That is one good thing about Motorola. Since their Google acquisition, if you like stock Android, but you know what? You're stuck on a carrier and it's hard to get that Nexus device on US Cellular, for example, a CDMA that's now LTE carrier. This may be a good device for you, a good uh, medium, if you will, for a device that's very similar to stock Android, but still has just some minor customizations. One thing I really like about Motorola's UI are these quick settings which you can access just by scrolling right here to the left. You can easily access, and this kind of competes with Samsung and LG and some of the other ones that have shortcuts in the notifications bar. Very similar in that regard. And then over here, you've got phone ringtone, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, mobile data, airplane mode. So you can access all of those and, of course, go to all of your settings if you so desire and scroll right back. Now, out of the box, you get two home screens. You can keep adding pages if you want to. Blank page, blank page. And I actually don't like the setup of this in Motorola's new layout. I miss the old school kind of, and I'll show you in just a second what I mean by that. Keep adding pages, blank page, page limit reach. So I've got seven home screens right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, as you can see right there. But you know what? You can't move this one over to the center, for example. The one that's the furthest to the left is always the home one. So if I'm over here, for example, I hit home, it's going to take me right back there as opposed to something like this, and this is going to sound super OCD, but I'm going to show you this anyway. On the Note 2, for example, I can have my home screen right there in the middle and easily access it amongst all my home screens. Small thing, but if you're an Android person, you'll either appreciate that, love it, or hate it. You've got favorites up here, apps and widgets. So your favorites, you can put in applications that you use on a regular basis. I'll bring that one to the home screen, for example, just to show you Amazon. And I can come in here and add my favorite application. So let's say all the Amazon stuff. I use it on a daily basis. I can bring it in here to favorites. But for now, applications out of the box. Amazon, Amazon Kindle, Amazon MP3, App Store, Audible. Then you get some US Cellular stuff like City ID, Daily Perks, which... Daily Perks is pretty useful from time to time. I mean, if there's a particular feature or a particular uh, coupon you're looking for, otherwise, turn it off. It's kind of annoying. HD Games, IMDb, Mobile TV, 
and then let's see what else. Uno, vehicle mode, which is a Motorola thing. We'll talk about that in part two. Your navigator, which is essentially telenav for US cellular, and then Zappo. So you do get some pre-installed stuff out of the box. Nothing too crazy by any means, or cray-cray as the kids say. Amazon MP3 widget as well. You get Audible widgets. So you got kind of a combination here of stock Google widgets or Android widgets, if you will. Motorola widgets, and then some carrier installed widgets like Daily Perk, and then more uh, uh, more there as well. So one thing I really like, and I want to jump right into this because this is a feature I think is really cool. And like I've said in other videos, it's all about software distinguishing here in 2013. With these Android devices, they're all kind of the same, at least in look and feel. Where these distinguish themselves? Software. And you can come in here, for example, and go to Smart Actions, one of my favorite Motorola features. And we'll pass the little uh, demo here with this man pulling his Motorola Droid Razor, what looks like a Droid Razor Max out of his pocket. Get started, and then we'll come in here and take a look at this. So not only can you make your own, but they've got some suggested ones. Low battery saver, drive smart, charging reminder, sleep rule. So I can come in here and hit drive smart and make sure my phone doesn't work while I'm driving. It can send a text message to people that say, you know, or that says rather, you know what? I'm driving right now. Keep it on the DL. Let's see all this lingo I'm bringing into the video. You guys thought I wasn't cool. I'm cool. What are you talking about? Sleep rule, for example, meeting rule. So when I go into meetings, for example, it can GPS my location and can say he's walking into the conference room, silence his phone, and then when I walk back out, turn it back on. These are surprisingly useful in a lot of different places. That's a pretty cool feature. And then low battery saver is a pretty useful one. Workout is a pretty nice one as well when you use headphones. Kind of similar to Page Buddy on the Galaxy Note 2. Work, home rule, nighttime battery saver, and more. Drive mode, one of my favorites. I'm a big supporter of not texting while driving and that's a useful feature on this device. Then you get little Motorola widgets like this one. This one does bring a nice thing to the table in the fact that it's got a physical battery percentage indicator. So you can see 50% of my battery remaining. I've got Dallas weather here and I can add cities. I can turn the clock analog if I want to. That said, still wish there was a physical battery percentage indicator up there in the corner, but otherwise, nothing too crazy, nothing too bad over there. 4.3 inch display here. Motorola's keyboard out of the box. It's the multi-touch keyboard and we'll say the Quick Brown Fox is off to Spain for, off to Span, off to Spain for work on Friday, on Friday. You gotta spend the weekend working this weekend. The Quick Brown Fox is working over the weekend. So the Quick Brown Fox is off to Spain for work on Friday. Portrait to landscape mode. This is a 4.3 inch display. And even though it seems a little bit smaller, it is pretty nice in the hand. The portrait mode is decent. Landscape mode even better if you're migrating over from a physical keyboard or perhaps a feature phone. This is new to you. This may be useful. Still Motorola's multi-touch keyboard, pretty decent. You don't get the swipe like functionality out of the box, but what you do get is swipe pre-installed. So if swipe is your thing, you can quickly switch over to it and take advantage of swipe out of the box, which I am always terrible at. Hey, there. And there we go. Stay tuned for part two. We'll talk about internet browsing, US cellular connectivity, camera features, apps, and more. Keep it locked on phonedog.com for part two of the full video review of the Motorola Electrify M.